Lately, everyone has been talking about DeepSeek and how it has been completely disrupting the AI industry. But not only has it been disrupting the AI industry, it's been disrupting many industries, including the stock market. Let's take a listen to hear what Donald Trump has to say about DeepSeek. Today and over the last couple of days, I've been reading about uh, China and some of the companies in China, one in particular coming up with a faster method of AI and much less expensive method. And that's good because you don't have to spend this much money. I view that as a positive, as an asset. So uh, I really think if it's, if it's fact and if it's true, and nobody really knows if it is, but I view that as a positive because you'll be doing that too. So you won't be spending as much and you'll get the same result, hopefully. The release of deep seek AI from a Chinese company should be a wake up call for our industries that we need to be laser focused on competing to win because we have the greatest scientists in the world. Even Chinese leadership told me that. They said, you have the most brilliant scientists in the world in Seattle and various places, but uh, Silicon Valley, they said, there's nobody like those people. This is very unusual when you hear a deep seek, when you hear somebody, somebody come up with something. We always have the ideas, we're always first. So I would say that's a positive. That could be very much a positive development. So instead of spending billions and billions, you'll spend less and you'll come up with hopefully the same solution. Under the Trump administration, we're going to unleash our tech companies and we're going to dominate the future like never before. Now, recently on one of our videos, we went over DeepSeek R1 and showed you how to use it in N8N and Cursor through their API as well as Open Router. But there is quickly becoming more and more ways to actually use and leverage DeepSeek R1. One of those new ways is through Grok. As you can see, last night Grok tweeted out DeepSeek R1 Distill Llama 70B is now available to use. And if you're not familiar with Grok and Grok chips, it is essentially very, very, very fast inference time. And now if you pair that up with a very powerful but yet dirt cheap model like DeepSeek R1, you can get a pretty powerful combination. Now, I recently covered Grok and their open source project AppGen on this channel not too long ago. So in today's video, I'm going to show you more ways that you can use DeepSeek R1 in tools like N8N as well as Grok AppGen. So without ado, let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so before I dive in, I'll just give you a quick recap on DeepSeek R1. If you don't already know, they essentially launched these new models that are extremely, extremely powerful and open source. As you can see, some of the benchmarks right here, comparative to OpenAI's O1 model. And there's a lot of rumors and conspiracies as to how they actually got such a powerful model. But they are claiming that they actually made this model for under $6 million, which if true, would be really crazy. So a few different ways you can use this model is on Olama, for example, if you want to install this locally. Now you will have to do some of the smaller models because there is a bunch of different sizes here. Um, we got the largest version, but then we also have some distilled ones that are distilled like Quen and Llama here. And you could go ahead and run this locally just by simply running one of these commands right here on the specific size of your choice. And you could also use Open Router with DeepSeek. You would simply just sign up for Open Router if you aren't already, get an API key, and then you can use that within tools like N8N or Cursor. And of course, you can go to DeepSeek.com. I'll leave a link down in the description below and you can try out their model right here for free. You can also get the app, which is now the number one in the app store. So I can go ahead and say, tell me about DeepSeek R1 and how it is disrupting the AI industry. I'm gonna turn on DeepSeek R1 as well as search capabilities here. Things are a bit slow right now because so many people are actually using DeepSeek right now on their website. Okay, it looks like it finally is pulling some results right here. So as you can see, we got some thinking going on right here. And this is really cool because OpenAI's O1 does not allow you to see the actual thinking, as well as OpenAI's O1, they rate limit you unless you are on the pro plan. All right, so this is really cool that it shows you the thinking because I believe that this is also giving a little bit more transparency with the user. So people are going to actually kind of trust the models a bit more because you can see what it does know and what it doesn't know. It will say like, hey, I actually don't know this. Maybe I should look this up or... Judging by the user's query, I can maybe infer this or whatever the case may be. You can see the different points right here. Cost efficiency, redefining industry standards, open source democratization, performance parity with industry leaders, market and geopolitical impact, challenges and controversies, future implications. So pretty cool stuff. 
Now, some of the real power behind DeepSeek is actually using the API and deploying it in different apps or in workflows like here in NAN, for example, because it is about 90% cheaper than O1. So I actually showed you guys in the last video how to use this with Open Router as well as the DeepSeek API, but I'll quickly just give you a recap. If you're an N8N, you just create an AI agent, you add an OpenAI node like so, and then you go down to a connection and you're going to add a base URL right here for Open Router, and then you're gonna put paste in your API key for Open Router. And then once you do that, you're gonna change to expression from fixed, and you're just going to paste in the model ID right here, which is DeepSeek forward slash DeepSeek dash R1. This is for open router. Now for the DeepSeek API directly, you're going to do the exact same thing, except you're using the base URL for DeepSeek.com right here. And you're using the model, which is DeepSeek dash reasoner. Now, the good thing with Grok is we actually have a model right here that is directly from Grok. So in my previous video, I mentioned that if we're using the DeepSeek directly with the OpenAI integration, you won't be able to see the thinking, which kind of sucks in my opinion. You know, it is okay still, it's great, but um, I think that some of the real true power behind DeepSeek is being able to see the thinking process of it all. So once you actually go into Grok here, you get your Grok uh, connection. So you simply just add your Grok API key right here. And I'll leave a link to Grok right here down below. So you can simply just sign up for free, get an API key, and then go over to NAN, add that in. And you're going to select DeepSeek R1 Distill Llama 70B. So unfortunately, this is the only DeepSeek R1 model they have at the moment. Hopefully, they'll get more. But this is still really cool and powerful. Next, let's go ahead and test this out. All right, so I'm going to say, hey, what model is this? And tell me a little bit about it. All right, and look how quick that was. That was extremely fast. As you can see, thinking I'm DeepSeek R1, blah, 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 blah. So I'm DeepSeek R1, an assistant created exclusively by Chinese company DeepSeek. I'll do my best to help you. All right, so I'm going to say explain DeepSeek R1 versus OpenAI O1 in depth. And as you can see, the agent is using the model right here. And boom, that was very fast, as you can see. All right, the user is asking about an in-depth comparison between the models. First, I should do this. It's really just thinking throughout the whole process. And then, as you can see, we get our answer right here, development and company. So a comparison between that, model architecture, training data, capabilities, and then limitations, use cases, cost and accessibility, ethical considerations, customization, a conclusion, etc that's one way that you can go ahead and start leveraging fast inference time with DeepSeek R1 using Grok. Like I mentioned before, and I did do a video on this a few weeks ago, Grok has an open source project called Grok AppGen. And you can actually go to appgen.groklabs.com. I'll leave a link down below and you can use their cloud version. And we can go ahead and test this out right here. Let's say calculator. And it's just going to code us a calculator like so. But currently with this open source version, they only allow some of their other models like Llama um, to actually create the app. So what I went ahead and actually did was fork this repo and make a few tweaks so we can actually use DeepSeek R1 with Grok within Grok AppGen. So if you want to go ahead and test this out, simply just run git clone and then the repo link right here, which will be in the description down below. Once you do that, you're going to change directory into Grok AppGen. So just run CD Grok AppGen, like so. You're going to run this command. And then once you're in the project directory, you're going to run npm install to install the dependencies. And then you're going to want to open the project within something like VS Code or Cursor, you the ID of your choice. And you're going to see that there's a .env.example file. You're going to want to make a copy of this and you're going to want to add in your Grok API key right here. This HTML signing secret can literally just be anything. You know, we're really just using this for testing purposes anyways. Once you got that API key loaded up, you're simply just going to run npm run dev to start up the development server. That's going to start up on localhost port 3000. So as you can see, I'm on localhost 3002 just because I already have a few different servers up right now. Let's go ahead and just simply test this with a calculator. And boom, here we got a calculator. So 9 times 9 equals 81. Boom. Now you may be wondering, how do I know that this is actually DeepSeek R1? Let's go ahead and say build an app with the name of the company that this LLM was made by. 
and boom here we have our app right here you can see it says deep seek your intelligent ai assistant ask me anything natural language processing code generation multi-language support so this allows us to kind of test out deep seek r1 distilled in something like a bolt.new or a lovable type interface with the grok app gen i'm not going to go fully through the grok app gen you know there's a few different things you can do like for example if i go weather app right here you can see we get a weather app but i can also give feedback and it will change up the app i'm going to say add way more advanced functionality and apply edit and boom now we got way more advanced functionality we have search city humidity wind speed we have a graph right here forecast a bunch of cool stuff you can also click on here to actually uh, allow your microphone and you could actually do text to speech i'm not going to do that right now also too when you're at the home screen you can click here and you could actually draw your app like so so if i draw let's say an app like this then click done and then create and we got our little app right here you can also share your app refresh your app Go to your different versions all that good stuff now, the one thing that's a little bit of a limitation is it only generates html but if you want to see me integrate deep seek r1 in in other coding tools to generate things like react apps or whatever the case may be then make sure to stay tuned because i'm definitely going to be doing a lot more videos on deep seek r1 on this channel all right guys so that's pretty much it for this video i just wanted to give you a quick rundown on the new grok update that they now have deep seek as well as stay on the lookout because i know a lot of different other providers will be providing deep seek r1 and i think using grok with deep seek could be a very powerful combination just due to the very fast lightning speed inference time so if that's something you need for your app or your project then definitely check that out and like i said all links covered in this video will be linked down below you can also use deep seek r1 distilled with grok in n8 and of course like i showed you here but other than that guys if you're new to this channel we upload videos all the time on ai marketing sales business growth so if you like that type of content you got some value here make sure to like the video comment down below and subscribe to stay up to date with the uploads let me know what your thoughts are about deep seek r1 and this ai race that we're in right now it is really starting to heat up and get crazy deep seek r1 has surpassed so many people's expectations with open source in 2025 already so it's going to be really exciting to see where this takes us and it's going to push some of these closed source companies these frontier models we thought to really start pushing out some updates for example sam altman just tweeted two hours ago deep seek r1 is an impressive model particularly around what they've been able to deliver for the price we will obviously deliver a much better model and also it's legit invigorating to have a new competitor we will pull up some releases but mostly we are excited to continue and execute on our on our research roadmap and believe more compute is more important now than ever before to succeed on our mission the world is going to want to use a lot of ai and really be quite amazed by the next gen models coming looking forward to bringing you all agi and beyond let me know do you think open ai is going to bring agi or open source or another company let me know in the comments down below guys also too guys if you haven't already joined our free facebook group and discord channel stridecommunity.com i'll leave a link down below for that and then also too guys you're definitely going to want to check out stride ai academy our free community at the moment it's currently free and it has a lot of behind the scenes resources templates tools and stuff that isn't on this channel so check that out while you still can also too guys if you run a business and you need help implementing ai agents like ai appointment setters ai call center into your business whether you're a coach consultant SaaS company b2b service-based business then book a call down below at executivestride.com forward slash apply and we can see if it's a fit or not other than that guys i will see you in the next video keep hustling keep grinding and of course guys accelerate your stride take care